I already read that. Uh, Street Tail. Dear Diary, this nightmare has gone on for so long. Has gone for so long. I think I'm starting to forget what life used to be like. I have a new theory. Father was wrong about the cryostasis keeping me alive until I could be cured. I think it didn't work at all. I think I just died and went straight to hell. I decided I'm going to write down all the things I used to be able to do, just so I can remember. I used to be able to read books. I used to be able to have friends. I used to be able to go to school. I used to be able to leave the home and go visit the plaza or anywhere else on the ship. I think... I even used to be able to be in any part of the house I wanted, and talk to visitors as much as I'd like. I have memories of always spending time with my father and mother and brother in the living room. I know my real father thought being respectful was important too, but... I don't know, I'm so confused now. I thought he always taught me to be strong and to speak up for myself. Did he really say that? I'm being sarcastic, of course, but the scary thing is, sometimes, sometimes I really do forget. Sometimes I think, if I just was obedient to what sister-in-law tells me to do, it would make things much easier. Maybe I should just give in and be passive, just sometimes. I'm scared though, what if I end up really believing that? Eh. That degradation of women is seen in society, man. It's pretty, pretty brutal. Anyways, the last entry from the Billbride as wife. I'm assuming this is when she became a wife. Dear Diary, today I found out why the household servant, I still can't believe we have one, why, has been so insistent on teaching me how to cook. Well, she doesn't call it that. She calls it serving meals. A year ago, I wouldn't have thought that sounded sinister. Now I know better. I don't care about this, I told her after the seventh day in a row of her lessons. Can't we do something else? Like going back to sewing? I always loved cosplay, let's do that. I know it's not fun, but your sister wants you to learn this, too. And it is very important. Your father is concerned too, so take it seriously, please, young miss. Don't call me that, I said. I don't remember exactly what I said to prompt her next response, along the lines of, why is it, so, why is it important? Or something. I don't remember what I said, just a response which blew me away. So you'll make a good wife, of course. Again, I don't remember what I said in response. Maybe I told her that I didn't want to. Maybe I told her that I was too young to care about that. Maybe I said I'd just go marry someone who was good at himself, who was good at it himself when it was time to care about that. Whatever I said, she didn't take it seriously. Don't be silly, she said, as if I was obviously joking. Your father really is worried about your marriage next year. Now is not the time to joke around on the matter. My what? I asked her. Oh my, she said. He never told you? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Pretend I said nothing. I didn't mean to ruin the surprise. I'm sure he'd want to explain the happy news himself. Are you serious? I asked. The idea didn't make any sense. But since when did anything in this hell make sense? She said yes. You're going to be so happy to hear who it is. He'd better explain, I shouted as I stormed off. He'd better. Well, yeah. <laughs> She doesn't like the idea of being married off and it's being portrayed as some happy thing and she's just like, what? I don't get a choice in this? Anyways. Last one in block five, for now, there's still one missing. The Bride's Adolescence, Kim Jong-Soo. Uh, let me double check if Jong-Soo is. Jong-Soo is the one who got her out of cryostasis. All right. I need to look back up in my chair. Get a little drink of water, get a little further. Pelbride grew to be a fine, demure young wife, but she was not always this way. Near the end of the year 319, she had a temper unruly enough to be mistaken for a boy's. Do not look upon her wild days with disapproval. She was from another, less civilized time. Rather, look upon her eventual submission as a testament to her good character and filiality, that she was able to overcome such a wild nature for the sake of the Kim family and the sake of her husband. One evening, she stormed into the common room while I was discussing business matters with a, de with a detty. We need to talk, she demanded loudly when I indicated I was busy. That only caused her to become even louder. Right now! Embarrassed, I was forced to excuse him to address the child. Is this a joke? Are you serious? You've made wedding plans? She shrieked at me. Please, calm yourself, I told her and sat her down. After admonishing her for a rude interruption, I tried to do what I could do to calm to calm her myself. It seemed that she had a rather bizarre set of expectations, that she wouldn't marry until she was many years after growing into a woman, 
that she would elope with any love-struck man who came her way with no regard for her own chastity, that she would have no assistance or protection in finding a suitable husband. Simply put, her ideas were as bizarre as they were dangerous, and for this, she had gotten angry at the news, rather than the excitement that one would expect from a girl who found out that she would be, that she would be getting a husband. Not even the sensational, not sensational news that it would be to the Emperor of all people would calm her. Yes, Hongye? Do you have something to say? Oh, hi. Hello. Say, do you mind taking a break for a couple minutes just to chat? Didn't we just do this? But alright, what do you want? Thanks, I appreciate that. Really, I appreciate that you're here. Yes, I know you've said this. <laughs> you're starting to repeat yourself. I know you've got ulterior motives. What they are, I'm not really sure, but most people do, and that's alright all the same. I'm glad you're reading these logs, though. Even if you don't really care, it's better than nobody from outside the ship ever seeing them, which is what I thought for sure would happen. Or am I just being cynical? If so, my apologies. Please, tell me, what do you think about what you've read of the Pale Bride? She's... it's, it's tragic. <laughs> like, it really is a degradation of society, she doesn't get to do anything on her own. You know, like, it's important to listen to your family, sure, but... It's... individuality is important, being able to make your own decisions, especially something that affects you that long in life. It's... it's important to be able to, you know, make something that life-changing for your own life, you know, as, as your own choice. So it's tragic. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Nobody else seemed to think so. There's something... Well, here, I've added another message for you. Just, well, why don't you read it yourself? Oh, she seemed a little reluctant to give me this message. Anyways, we have to say about this message before I read that. Just, well, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> you already said this, you could have just... What? Just, why are you not grayed out? You're saying the same thing. Is, is it still on here? It's, it's still here. It's nothing new. Why why are you not grayed out? Are, are you gonna... Alright, okay. Anyways. Uh, what, what do you want me to read? Is it the last one in block five? Oh, snap. Ooh. Finally her name. I get the admin password. Six pages, but they're very low pages. This week I tried to convince the old man to put me back into stasis by going on a hunger strike. It didn't work. Obviously. On the plus side, at least I figured out where that stupid name they all keep calling me came from. Sorry, that was- that last bit was written yesterday. I couldn't bring myself to keep going. I just keep- I just kept crying. I still would be, but, well, it just gets exhausting after a while. I'm too tired to cry. Things aren't going to get better. They can't get better. I'm not going to get put back into stasis. I'll be dead by the time I'm 18. Why oh why did I ever agree to be frozen in the first place? If the future can't make me better, I'd rather die with my family there, at least, rather than these awful Kims. I wonder if they'll realize I was right after I die. Anyway, the hunger strike. It was really hard, and I kind of cheated by sneaking into the kitchen while nobody was looking. But it at least convinced Father to listen. Fine, he said by the fourth dinner time. I'll show you why I can't. Up until he said that, I had been hopeful. Everything would be fine if he just put me back, I thought. But... Sorry, I guess I've been trying to write this for two days now. It's really hard. Anyway, he took me to go see... The egg I hatched from. His stupid name for the stasis pod. When he said hatched, the worst possible thing came to mind. Worse. It turned out to be true. In order to get me out, he had smashed apart the glass with a hammer. The pod was still full of shards. All my hope died when I saw that broken glass. The time was right to bring you into this world, he said. I don't remember what I said. Something obscene, probably. It wasn't enough. I know it's hard, Pale Bride, but it is for a greater purpose. What was the point of arguing? It was broken and nobody in this awful future would know how to fix the pot now. Instead, I argued that with that with what I could. Why do you keep calling me that? I said to him. He responded by pointing at an inscription my real father had left on the pod, a message for me to read when I woke up. The first line was written in Chinese characters, his idea of being fancy, I suppose, but he explained them in Korean underneath. See, the old man 
See, the old man told me. The rest is foreign and archaic, but it names you at the top. The Pale Bride. It didn't say that. It didn't say that at all. I shrieked at him in response. You idiot! You moron! You illiterate! Probably some other things too. I can't remember exactly. I was furious. Are you stupid? That's not how those characters read. It says, to my sick daughter. Sick daughter. Sick daughter, you illiterate monster. It says, sick daughter. Me. He started to argue, but then stopped. I think he was patronizing me, as if I can't read simple Korean script. He just asked in the smuggest voice, Then what should I call you, child? I screamed. I'd already told him a thousand times before. <laughs> what? Hyun A. My name is Hyun A.